But the reason why I'm not getting PlayStation... The reason why I don't have PlayStation Online right now, it's that in 2023, they decided to not only increase the price from $60 a year to $80 a year, but they stopped and then split it between three different services. The but the basic service is $80 a year. Then it's $150 and then $200, depending on what you want. And they don't really add that many much perks. So like, oh, if, you're play, if you get the 200 to one, you can play PlayStation 2 games and PlayStation 1 games free on your Xbox, your PlayStation 5. Fuck that. The other problem is, is they stop selling subscription cards. You can no longer go to like Walmart or um, across the street to a gas station and get a month or three months or a year on a card. Because usually what I would do is I'd wait till Christmas and the cards would be 20 bucks, 30, 30, 40 dollars for one year. So I'd stock up three or four years for 90 dollars. And that's what happened is that I had it all stocked up for years to come. It ran out on March 1st, and I refused to pay the $80. And because they now no longer sell the subscription cards, I can no longer get the discount. And I'm basically, no, screw you guys. You have raised the price, removed features that you used to give, and no, I refuse to pay it. I refuse to pay full price. You might have it on discount in the summer, but no, 